guys all right so this week we are doing a fitness video with one of these so um most a lot i know a lot of people have one at home if you don't you can pick one up at like walmart target amazon pretty much anywhere it's pretty nice to have it's comfy to sit on if you ever need a break from a regular chair um there's lots of different kinds of exercises you can do with one of these and it really challenges your core so this video although it includes exercise for both lower body upper body and core this is really going to be challenging your core on almost every exercise because you have to stabilize your body to do almost every single one of them so this week we're doing this all right and before you do this video i want you to make sure you get a good warm-up in get a good stretch warm up your muscles i uh was out taking the dogs for a walk and stuff before I did this, so this, I was all ready for it. Um, I hope you enjoy the video, and as always, there'll be a disclaimer, and then we're gonna get right into it. You can go ahead and do this exercise, this video multiple times if you want. Some of the exercises are pretty tough, so if you can only do those one time, try to do the other ones multiple times. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna get going. All right, the first exercise for this video is going to be Swiss ball Russian twist. So you're gonna lay down on the ball with your with the ball like right in the middle of your back. Then you put your arms up in the air with your hands kind of in like a prayer position. And you're going to roll to each side, keeping your feet flat on the floor and then roll back to the middle and then go to the other side. We're going to do 20 of these. All right, the next exercise we have is the wall squats. So you're going to put the stability ball on the wall and then put your back against the stability ball, holding it up. And you're going to squat down, kind of letting the ball roll as you squat. Make sure you're still keeping good squat form, not letting your knees go past your toes and so on. Make sure you get good depth. We're gonna do 15 of these. All right, the next one we have is single arm overhead press. So in the video, you can see me holding my hand to my stomach, using whichever one I'm not holding the weight with. You wanna make sure that you're feeling your abs turn on. It's kind of gonna how you're gonna know if you're using your core to help, help you stabilize. You don't wanna be arching your back when you're doing these. So you're going to use your arm and press straight up overhead. You wanna do this for about one second up, one second down. You can use a weight, you can use a water bottle, whatever you have at home. Okay, the next one we have is knee tucks. This one is tough. So you're going to put your feet on the ball. You kind of want to get more of your shin on the ball to help you kind of be stabilized. And then you're going to bring your knees to your chest. You want to kind of go slow, but this one is tough, so just do your best. Um, if you can't do 10 of them, try to do like five and then work up to it next time you try it. Okay. 
Okay, the next one we have is hamstring curls. So you're going to put your feet on the ball, but this time laying on your back. And when you do the hamstring curl, you want to drive your hips up as you pull your knees in. So you don't want to just be dry, like pulling your knees in, letting your butt hang down. You want to be pushing your butt up as you bring your feet in. You can see it when I'm doing it. My whole body is a straight line. You're going to do 15 of these. If you're having a tough time, try to shoot for 10. All right, next we have some shoulder activation exercises. So these are called I's, Y's, and T's. We're gonna do five of each of them. So you wanna make sure that you have your thumbs up when you do these. You're gonna go I's, so straight out in front of you, Y's, slightly out to the side, about a 45 degree angle, and then T's, which is gonna be straight out from the shoulder. So you're gonna go ahead and do five, each of those with your chest on the stability ball. This is gonna really make your shoulders burn. Okay, up next we have the V pass. So you're going to put, start with the, the stability ball between your feet, and then you're going to lift your legs up, pass it to your hands, drop your hands behind your head, and then bring your hands up to your, up to your feet, feet back down to the floor. This is going to really be an ab burner. We're gonna do 20 of these. As you can see in the video, my room is not quite big enough. I'm gonna drop my hands all the way behind my head, but ideally you would want your hands to go all the way back and touch the floor. Okay, now we have the single leg Swiss ball bridge. So this is gonna kind of be similar to what we did for the hamstring curls. You're gonna lay on your back and you're gonna put your feet on the ball. But this time you're just going to be bridging up, so getting your hips off the floor, and we're only gonna be using one leg. So you're gonna leave the one leg on the ball. Try to get more of like your calf area on there. It helps you kind of be a little bit more stable. And then you're going to lift the other leg up and then every time you bridge up you want to go all the way up hold it for about a split second and then bridge back down and then you're going to let yourself rest for a second and come back up we're going to do 10 each leg Okay, now we have bench press on the Swiss ball. So you're gonna be doing just a regular bench press with dumbbells, but instead of being on like a bench, something a hard, like a hard surface, we're gonna be on, this bent, on the Swiss ball, which requires you to use a little bit of your abs. So you wanna make sure you're feeling your abs kind of activate, and then you can go ahead and do the bench press motion. We're gonna do 15 of these. Right, the next one we have is dead bugs so we did dead bugs in a previous video but this time to make it a little bit more challenging and also to incorporate that swiss ball 
you're going to put the Swiss ball in between your hands and knees. When you go opposite arm, opposite leg, you're going to be still holding the Swiss ball with the other leg and the other arm. This is going to give you a little bit of resistance and require a little bit more focus and attention to your abs. So also on these, you want to make sure that your back is flat on the floor, so that means you have to bring your belly button down to the floor, kind of activate those abs. We're going to do 20 of these. last exercise is a little bit more of a challenge and something kind of fun to test yourself with. So you're going to try balancing on the Swiss ball. You're going to try to kneel on the ball. Really make sure you get yourself up there. Maybe you need some help. Lean on the couch like I did. And then you're going to try to hold that position for as long as you can. It is tough. Try your best. I tried closing my eyes and that is ultimately my downfall. This is kind of fun for your hips, your abs, everything. Just hold it for as long as you can. Alright, so now we finished the video. It is a tough one, I know. You're gonna be feeling it in your core. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a change of pace from last week's little stretching video. You can always follow that this video up with the video I did last week to kind of get loose. Um, I know this was tough and the, ch the balance challenge at the end is something to work on if you want. I was doing good and then I decided I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more and cover my eyes, which ended up being my downfall. So if you want to give that a shot, just make sure you grab onto something when you, next time you try it, uh, you can see me kind of trying to find my balance in the video. Um, I hope everyone has a great rest of their week, weekend, whatever it is for you and you're watching this. And we will be back next week for another video. The hands are not quite healed yet, so I don't know if we will get into the playground workout that was promised. But we will see. Hopefully it'll be out soon. All right, everyone have a great rest of your week. Bye!